Welcome to Photo SF. Thank you for downloading and trying out Photo SF. My name is Uzair Karawala and thanks for joining me. We are proud and privileged to receive a few awards, including the FileMaker Excellence Award for the Best Newcomer Product of the Year in San Francisco in 2009. The main difference between the two is the Pro version is sold for £375 plus VAT but if you are outside the UK and the EU then you don't pay the VAT. The Pro version allows you to have multiple users, can also sync data with iCal on the Mac and Outlook on the PC, can run over a network and is able to create a PDF for quotations, bookings, invoice, delivery notes which can be emailed. The light version is only for £60 plus VAT, is ideal for a single user photographer. It cannot sync with iCal or Outlook, um, cannot run over a network and it cannot create PDF which can be emailed. If you are on a Mac uh, you can go to print to PDF via the print dialog box or for the PC users uh, you can get a plugin which is I believe it's for about $18 or something like that and that will allow you to uh, email your quotations, bookings, invoices and delivery notes. So why do you need a database you may ask? A database lets you organize all kinds of information including all your contacts which could be customers, suppliers, leads, jobs, quotations, bookings, all your simple bookkeeping tasks like sales, purchases and expenses, keep track of your products and equipment and you can get a bird's eye view of your entire business uh, using powerful reporting tools as well. The main difference between a database and a spreadsheet is the database stops you from replicating and duplicating all your day-to-day -day tasks and reminders. You get more productive and being more productive equals more profits as you save more time. Database and a spreadsheet may look very similar but they're not. Database answers your questions very quickly and easily while spreadsheets really are very good at number crunching. To get started, uh, let's have a look at the contacts. Here we have all the list of all the names we have on our database. To find for a contact or a name, all you do is go to quick find, search for that name. Clicking on it will take you inside the contact. You got the telephone numbers, the address, email birthday, wedding anniversary, all the details of that contact over here. Under the activities tab, you have a list of all the things you may have done or needs doing. As you can see, send sales invoice is in red. That means it's outstanding. Once you've completed that task, all you do is complete the job. The sales tab keeps track of all your sales invoices related to this contact. You can even see how, which sales invoices are outstanding and have not been paid. Purchases will list all the incoming invoices from your suppliers. The events tab will list all the quotations and bookings you may have sent to the client. And I can see over here couple of them for quotations and three jobs have been booked. If you use external or freelance photographers, you can keep track of all the information over here. You can even attach the proof of ID or the uh, CV or any important documents or contracts, uh, PDF it and attach it over here. Related contacts is a good way to keep track of all uh, additional family members. 
notes tab it's a free type box you can type in whatever you want over here letters will keep track of all the letters sent out to the contact mailing step keeps track of all your marketing activities you can see a wedding confirmation letter sent out on the 17th of March 2010 and an email sent out uh, for a special January offer the email step keeps track of all your incoming and outgoing emails um, within the software so as soon as you go to this tab you'll see whether you've sent out an email or any emails which you received over here let's go to the activity and set up a reminder you can edit this list um, to your house content and create new ones if you wish but I'll just send an email reminder information required Keep it three days away and that's it so let's go to the home page now where you get all your reminders and tasks to be done so this is your list to do so you don't have to keep on going into each contact to find out uh, what things needs to be done all you do is go to the home page over here and you'll see this is the reminder task clicking on this little button will take you to the contact and once it's done uh, you can change the status to complete it and that will just make it disappear from the home page as you can see it has disappeared from here but it will not delete that activity uh, from within the contact searching for information within this database is very very easy if I wish to find out all uh, the contacts born in the month of January all I need to do is go to find and then I'll click on this birthday field I'll go star forward slash zero one forward slash star so what I'm telling the database is to ignore the date and the year give me January your list comes up now you can go to print labels or mail merge a letter or send out an email to the contacts on this list it's as simple as that you can also import your contact from a CSV file or an Excel spreadsheet so it will um, help you save a lot of time instead of uh, entering those details by hand if your client is a wedding client you can enter the individual names the bride and the groom's name in, in this little pop-up box under the type box you can edit this list and create as many as you wish again if I need to find all my wedding clients all I do is I go to wedding I click enter my list comes up straight away very very easy and simple to search things I can search from any field I like um, if I want to see how many clients I have got in a certain town um, or a county or a state it's a two second operation all I do is enter find and search and here you go this comes up so this is a quick overview of how the contact information is managed and handled tomorrow I'm going to show you how to send quotations and make bookings so have a play around with your contact information today and I'll see you tomorrow. For your information, on the trial version, uh, you cannot enter more than five contacts. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.